Hello there. Today, we're going to show you how to utilize a single self-lock push button to operate VFD EM15 to enable motors forward running. This is another example of using external terminal control to operate the VFD to drive a motor. Before we begin, let's take a brief look at the programming steps that need to be followed in this procedure. To begin, let's take a look at the wiring diagram. Wire the power supply and motor to the VFD as per the provided circuit diagram. Special attention should be paid to the wiring between the self-lock push button and the DI1 terminal. This wiring will enable us to control the motor's forward rotation. With all connections complete, it's time to configure the VFD parameters. To begin, press the PRG key and go into the P0 programming. Then, select F002 and set it to 1, which designates the command source as the external terminal control. Next, select F003 to modify the main frequency source. Set it to 1, indicating the main frequency is digital setting and retains its value during power off. Now, let's set the acceleration time. Select F017 and set it to 5 seconds. Confirm the setting and exit. Similarly, set the deceleration time in F018 to 5 seconds and save the changes. Having done that, let's return to the previous level and configure the F4 parameter group for the control mode. Select F411 to set the terminal command mode to 2 wire control mode 1, represented by 0. Next, let's go into parameter F400. Here, we need to set the function of the DI1 terminal to forward, so we set it to 1. After completing the configuration, press the ESC key multiple times to go back to the VFD standard operating interface. Now, we can test the programmed VFD. Press the self-lock push button to start the VFD. The frequency displayed on the VFD interface will begin to increase until it reaches the preset frequency. Press the button again, the VFD will stop running and the displayed frequency will decrease. When it reaches zero, the power off memory function will be triggered, preserving the preset frequency value. So that's all for today. Please like and subscribe for more helpful tutorials and information. We'll see you until next time.